Hi, this is Chris Davis with Slash Gear, and this is the HTC Sensation XL. Now, uh, it's the company's latest Sensation series uh, device. Uh, and the XL refers to the fact it has a, a huge 4.7 inch uh, display, uh, Super LCD uh, technology, though it's only actually running at wide VGA resolutions, so that's 800 by 480. So there's no uh, QHD uh, as we saw on the Sensation originally, or there's no uh, 720p as the HTC Resound has launched with, uh, will launch with over in the US. Um, instead you get a reasonably thin phone, which uh, as you can see on the back has the Beats Audio branding, so this is one of the devices that HTC is positioning as a music phone. Um, it's got a 1.5 gigahertz single core processor inside with 768 megabytes of RAM, uh, front facing camera there. Uh, 8 megapixel camera on the back with a dual LED flash and 720p HD video recording, uh, 3.5mm headphone socket, uh, micro USB port there. Uh, what you don't get is any removable memory option. So there's 16 gigabytes of flash storage inside, of which um, just under 13 uh, gigabytes is available to the user. Um, and that has to do basically for all of your video and audio. And that's a bit of a shame because uh, as well as the phone HTC are including some of the special custom Beats by Dre headphones. So you get this little pouch and inside you've got a variety of rubbery earbuds and a clip to clip the cable to your shirt. And then you get the, obviously the usual brightly coloured headphone cable. These earbuds themselves, um, if you can see those, maybe not. Um, but basically uh, they use the Beats audio technology. There's an inline remote and uh, microphone section to control music playback and uh, answer and end calls. And when you plug the headphones into the phone, um, you get uh, the Beats audio profile. So the idea is that it ramps up the bass, it um, tweaks the uh, the audio settings and it kind of it makes it a uh, a lot more bass heavy, it's kind of more suited to dance music than, uh, than say, uh, classical perhaps, but you can uh, choose to turn that off if you prefer. Yeah, so as we say, unfortunately, you do only get the, uh, the 16 gigabytes uh, of space in which to actually store your music, but you can use streaming music services like Napster or Spotify um, and bypass that. Uh, and obviously you also get uh, the YouTube app to, to watch streaming video as well as HTC's watch app to uh, purchase and rent uh, TV shows and video kind of on the move. Uh, performance wise um, we're not expecting great things obviously from the uh, 1.5 gigahertz processor but uh, it's reasonably smooth, reasonably fast, uh, the internet looks good on the, um, uh, the big display uh, though obviously because the resolution isn't uh, fantastic you know there's uh, a limit to what you can make out when it's at full zoom level, but uh, certainly in landscape orientation, um, uh, it's a easy to make out sort of body text, as you can see there. Um, and it does the usual double tap to zoom in and reformat the page. Uh, and pinch zooming is smooth. And of course it supports flash while Adobe still does. Uh, so that's the HTC Sensation XL. Um, it slots in somewhere kind of in between the, the XE and uh, since HTC's other recent Android phones, very much based on the, the, the Titan hardware that we saw on Windows Phone. Uh, there's a full review up on Slash Gear now. Thanks for watching.